Hello, this is a Kemble Oxford that's just come into stock, 110 centimetres tall, made in 2004 and practically unused, owned by one older couple apparently. And uh, looking at the casework, it's immaculate and not really faded in any sense whatsoever. There's no difference in colour in any of the casework, which is very encouraging because very often light gets to them and affects them. Um, but we can see here it's prettily perfect maybe slightly darker here where it's been closed and that's but it's not been used we'll look at the hammers in a second Campbell Oxford is one of their top models it has a, a Celeste pedal as you can see just have a quick look around the rest of the case to show you that it is immaculate I can't find even a scratch on it I can't guarantee there's not even a very slight scratch on it in fact I did find this down here so we'll try and obviously sort that out and the pedals need uh, buffing up really but apart from that immaculate so internally the piano is immaculate too I did a slight adjustment on the celeste rail uh, a little bit of voicing but very little on the hammers and uh, obviously trying to perfect it, any piano that comes in but you can't even see anywhere on the hammers here um, no lines whatsoever made by playing so that's literally been pretty un unused it just needs slight lubrication as a result um, and the action, but Kemble Oxford 2, apparently it's described as um, open, poor, dark walnut, the cabinet work, that's how Kemble describe it as their label on the back. So made in 2004, I'm going to compare it with some other pianos, uh, and before we do that, let's have a quick look at the worksheet. As with a lot of top quality pianos, you have this extra stay fitted so you can keep the lid open slightly if you want a bit more volume. Uh, so equivalent of sort of like having a lid of a grand piano open. So here's the assessment sheet. And the main work being, if we look at the weighting of the keys, that should be like 52. So refining key weights really, 52, 50, 48, as we've mentioned before. Um, and just some details on the piano. It's nice to get history when we can. Uh, well, Kemble described it as open, poor, dark walnut. We've had the last top quality um, Kemble we had, a similar size was the Cambridge, so it's good to get an Oxford one in. Uh, described on the back of the piano like that. So finished, sold by Tostevin, very respected dealers in Stoke. Um, if you're familiar with them, if you're a tuner in the trade, then uh, they're out of business now, but very respected. And uh, it was owned by head of music and church organist, so that's an interesting to know, isn't it? Um, and uh, the key, I was interested to see that the hammer bow, key dip 11, I like 11 millimeters, as I mentioned before, 42 to 45, so there's treble hammers of 42 uh, hammer below and 45 of the base ones. A um, little bit low, but works very, very well. Don't know if we'll increase the hammer below and the treble. We have gro a groaching in that's uh, 43, and that's they, they specify that it should be 43. So it's got 22 is very low indeed. This is encouraging, 66, uh, 66 leg room, which is amazing because my legs... Normally 61 is normal, so there's plenty of leg room if you're tall. And the pedals are low as well. So that's, to me, very sensible design that's encouraged manufacturers to do that. More leg room and low pedals. And so you could even put caster cups under and pedals would still be quite low. So, well, let's have a quick listen to the piano and compare it with some others. Before listening to piano, I did make, want to make a comment that what's the difference between buying this and a new piano? Uh, it depends which new piano you buy, but if you buy a very expensive new piano, a 4 upright, for instance, might be taller, and uh, that's going to have a better bass. But action-wise, you won't improve on this, really. It has extremely high-quality action. Um, and in terms of the strings, you might think, well, the strings are getting older. Actually, uh, the tone of them is identical to a new piano, really. I don't think you could tell much difference. If you're a tuner, um, this is... So the 2004... But it still just sounds as good as it did when it was new. More a question of how, the, how much the hammers are worn and whether they need refacing. This is the same height of Walmart made in uh, 1985. And the Kawhi K15, same height, new piano.
Thank you.